Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, smash the like button. Please do subscribe if you haven't yet. Also, please tick the notification bell so that you get notified if I upload uh, any on off, off schedule readings, right? When you click that notification bell, you guys, make sure you click all notifications so you get all notifications. Also, some people I've noticed have been that YouTube has a tendency to do like a wash and they unsubscribe people. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Um, if you if you feel like you're like, what's going on? I'm not getting any notifications. What's how come? What I know a lot of you know when I'll be here, but um, yeah, just make sure that everything's on the up and up. If you have um, come to my channel and became a member, welcome. If you've come recently, welcome. We do see. Yep. Some people have subscribed, lots of people actually. So awesome, $2.99 per month. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at through August. This is going from, as I'm currently recording this video, the 14th, all the way through the middle of September. And take a look and see what messages, what's gonna be showing up here for you, what you can expect in all areas of your life. Okay, oh, look at that. This is like yesterday. Yeah. Well, you're still keeping some kind of boundaries up. You're still being very persistent. So good. If you didn't listen to yesterday's reading, go back. It's called, uh, are you ready? It was pretty profound. You're making some big changes and blessings will be coming in, right? If you didn't see that, that reading, I'll leave the link in the description box. So yeah, you still have that going on from yesterday. So that's good. You've been through something Virgo. You've been through it. You're making some changes here and you're determined to keep going forward. So that is good. You're not, no quitting here. All right. What else does Virgo need to know in regards to what's happening here for them in the future? Oh my gosh. I feel like what? A, so, you know, I'll just end the reading. Just go back to yesterday's reading. Yeah. Despite the struggle, you know, despite it all, you're okay. So I think a lot of you, maybe you got the message or you're just like, you know what? That just was the little boost that I needed to remember to keep going forward. Okay, so a hmm, little bit of grief, all right, a little bit of uncertainty in your life in, in the next 30 days, a um, little bit of letting go here, or maybe a sense of maybe some loss or feeling maybe abandoned and unloved, but still determined to move forward despite the struggles. Okay, so you got the magician here, so I, I definitely focus though, despite it all still focused still making your magic happen turning your visions into reality um, coping i feel like you're you're coping with something pretty well whatever it is okay maybe your favorite show has been canceled kind of a bummer right kind of a bummer but you are like you know what that's all right i'm a little sad a little struggle i'll have my my favorite show my series has been canceled i can't watch it what am i gonna do i gotta find something new so you know you're 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 ma you're managing you're managing. I know for some of you, it's going to be way deeper than that. For others, it's just as simple as that. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Three swords. Okay. Yeah. There's some kind of heartbreak, maybe some argument or something. Um, could be happening for you. Maybe you're feeling definitely a sense of some sadness, but you know what? Some of you, I think you might be ending something with someone also in August. You might have had enough of something where you feel like you're abandoned or you're loved or something's not happening. Some of you are some of you are taking it upon yourself to um, like feeling inspired, you're very focused, you're you're gonna you're gonna end something. Yeah, you're ending I, I, so it looks like a relationship, some kind of relationship, like you're putting your boundaries up and like some, there's some kind of heartbreak. If it already happened, right, you're sticking with it. If it didn't happen yet, uh, something that you need to take care of or you need to do, um, maybe you're going to manifest an argument I don't know, Virgo, but it feels like you're definitely taking care of some kind of business. Um, let's see. What else is going on here? Gosh, I feel like I keep getting the same cards. Virgo, it looks like you, yeah, it looks like you just, you're, you're keeping to yourself these next 30 days, doing a lot of self internal reflection. 
seeking some kind of clarity for yourself okay going within what is your truth and I think you're going to find out where your truth is with the Ace of Pentacles. The there's an opportunity that's going to come to you, something real. For some of you, there's it's not even just your truth, but like kind of even asking yourself also, what do you want to do going forward? What's your path? What do you need? Kind of really just something's ending. Maybe you, there's a job that ends. You go through a divorce. There's a breakup. Um, you decide you're not going to get some kind of surgery. Or maybe you decide you're going to get some kind of surgery. How's that going to look for your life going forward after all of this? And this, there's a lot of contemplation about that. Okay, um, some of you are going to receive some money, um, go into some type of contract with someone. There's an opportunity for um, love here as well happening in your life in in these 30 days. A true, a real, the real deal. Something coming in, a new opportunity. Like I said, it could be a contract. Could have to do with money or real estate or a new job, promotion, investment, a new income. Signing some kind of contract or some, some very important papers. Going into business with someone as well. Could be. Um, some of you get an offer for marriage. Partnership. A deep love connection gets made. Beautiful. Okay. Hmm, new beginning for sure. Something's definitely ending and there's a new start. And a lot of this is coming from you ending something and starting your life over. And starting over somewhere in a new location. Um, you have a different trajectory, new people, things like that. There's there's there, there's there's a passing there's a passing that's happening happening here there's like big changes some of you moving on rebirth rebirthing yourselves you know maybe you're becoming born again there's some kind of there's a transformation here and and i feel like everything's going to change for the better once you put a stop to something that's going on up here if you leave some kind of job or you know you, there's a disconnect here once this disconnect happens with this three of swords once this loss occurs once you cut something out you know um your life is just gonna get so much much all right let's see what else is happening here oh yeah yeah, there's a there's a lot like it feels very similar to yesterday's reading, but there's a lot of like ending, cutting something off, being done with something. Um, any in any area of your life, and and going into a new start, having a new beginning, a new start. Now, meeting someone. If this is a relationship that didn't work out. Or you're kind of at that place where it's like, nah, it's just not working out for me. You end something here. Uh, there will be an opportunity for you. Like love, as far as love goes and relationships and all that stuff, th th that's definitely going to be on the table. The, 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 the sky's part, you know, here, come, here it comes. So I feel like if you're ending a relationship and you're like, oh, you don't really want to, but there's something about it that you know you need to have to, you have to, or something's not going, it's not working out, whatever, whatever the reason. Um, I feel like you're going to meet somebody who you're going to be simpatico with. You know what I mean? Like two people who, like the lovers, it's just very, like very good together, you know, just fit up, just fit well together. Okay, um, but there is this energy here with the Five of Swords where it's like putting an end to some kind of abusive relationship or just being, or not relationship, let me just say standing up for yourself, but you might be like overcorrecting too in as far as like standing up for yourself, maybe because you haven't done it for, maybe it's not a habit for you to speak your mind or tell like speak your truth. So you go to shut something down, but I, the way, so the five of swords can be like kind of harsh the way you shut something down. Um, 
but in a way it, it it's like it needs to be done but the deliverance you know it's harsh it's tough it's it, it can be a bit cruel um maybe this happened to you or it's or it's something that you're doing it's a sense of having to overcorrect. they just keep giving me like don't overcorrect. just speak from a place of calm right or somebody makes you feel like you were really harsh with them in ending something they may make they may have that energy towards you like they completely cut you off because you're ending something which is you know it is what it is right so i just see you kind of like passing through this transition period in these next 30 days doing a lot of self-reflection and asking yourself what is it that you want where do you want to go right and allowing those opportunities those blessings to come in so you can be successful going forward and having that success and you will you will have those successes you have a lot of support around you a lot of healing support people um you know with the six of wands um getting that recognition feeling successful getting good news okay the star some of you are going to be in the spotlight in these next 30 days but having a sense of renewed hope inner clarity getting those miracles having feeling those miracles come in getting your faith back you know that all that energy definitely playing out here okay so you get the opportunity to become pregnant or have a child yes so with the empress if you've been longing for to have children that happens or someone connected to you there's a pregnancy there's also a change of life right so no more having to worry about and flow anymore that that energy playing out but even with the empress there's like a creation being able to create new beginnings you might get into some kind of healing arts or selling or um, being creative or make crafting or making things that are very like you know um things that you can make a living with i feel to get into your abundance but like it's creativity yeah, it could be makeup, cosmetics, d hair, uh, doing something new, having a new beginning. That's the Empress. It's it's creation. It's the beginning. And she she houses all those new beginnings. She starts all of those new beginnings. Right? Just when I was speak saying the house. Yeah, yesterday we did have a glitch in the beginning of the reading, which was really odd. I don't know what was going on. I said, like, welcome to the house of Max Headroom. Because the whole thing was glitching like crazy. It was weird, wasn't it? okay so for some of you there's a homecoming somebody's returning there's a reunion with friends and family there's some kind of a celebration uh it could be they're just telling me teacher parent teacher conference or uh an event going to some kind of event but there is a, a reunion of some sort as well happening okay you got big decisions you need to make as well virgo so you're trusting your intuition trust in your gut here um there might be something comes up that you feel like you need to make a compromise on you need to make a decision whether or not you want to compromise on something yep that's going to come up for you you might also block somebody or decide that you're just you don't want to see someone anymore we were seeing that but there might be a blocking as well. Um, so I feel like some of you are going to get like a small loan, perhaps from a bank as well. Or some by a person. If someone's going to um, help you out with some money. It feels legal. So I want to say that there is some kind of legal uh, thing where you're going to receive some money. Or you're going to ask for help and you're going to receive it feels like money some kind of money it's not a, it's not a bunch it might be a community thing uh it might be some kind of a program that you sign up for uh it could be money for school or it could just be like a it could be a welfare thing or something where you you need a little like you need a little help and lord knows in this day and age my gosh if you're not a, if you're not a millionaire i don't know how people are living six of pentacles energy is um reciprocity giving back you might be helping others too or helping another person uh you might it's a little bit of a charity so i see some charity energy playing out here you might be giving or receiving
All right. There's a Queen of Swords and a King of Pentacles. Okay. There's definitely two people showing up here, you and someone else. There's going to be a conversation. Okay. This Queen of Swords is... Um, you might be ha having some self-talk as well. You might be talking to yourself about your money. Like get, trying to get clarity, get clear, being strategic of what you want to do with your finances. And what kind of new clothes, if you're thinking to buy new clothes for the season changes. Kind of like, all right, what am I trying to, like, what do I want? What do I want to buy? Doing some shopping. Um, but there might be some conversations that happen um, that you receive some advice where... Um, Somebody's helping you be strategic with your money, your finances, your investments, uh, your domestic life, or how to be more resourceful. You might be seeking or receiving some type of financial advice or giving it. You could be giving it. Okay, I see some of you also traveling. Yes, but you do have some good news too that's coming in. It's going to come in really quick. Oh, that's something to do with finances. Yeah. Wow. This this has to do with like solo pleasure, pleasures and financial gains. So uh, if you've been waiting to hear, Virgo, about some kind of financial gain or return on investment, you're definitely going to be hearing about that. It's going to be good and positive and coming to you. It's not going it, to... It's Definitely, it might even for some of you be before the August is over. There's also Cupid's arrows here, so I do feel like you're going to be attracting a lot of attention during this next 30 days as well. Okay, uh, you're looking fine. <laughs> you're looking good. You're looking good. You're looking healthy, strong. I see you being single, of course, doing your own thing, taking care of business. You are going to receive some communication, though, a lot. I don't feel like it's coming from one person. It could be coming from an air sign or an earth sign, but it is going to be coming from one particular, uh, several, one or several people. Like generating, you're generating a lot of interest in the next thirty days. Okay, Cupid's like, ooh, lots of dates being asked out, being invited to go somewhere, traveling. Okay. Some of you are um, going to receive a nice big birthday gift. Something very nice. Something of value is what I want to say. I want to say very nice. It, it holds value. Okay, so it's not like a candle from Walmart. <laughs> a valuable gift. Yes. So here's the sun. Beautiful. That's Leo energy there. Material happiness for sure. I know Virgos like their material things. Uh, material happiness. There's a, there's a lot of success. You're going to be feeling on top of the world. Look at this. You're even going to have success in love. You have a happily ever after coming. You're not going to be alone the rest of your life, right? I don't, if that's a concern for you, um, I don't see that that's going to like manifest. That's so weird. Look at that. That's like something on my card, but it looks like I don't know what's going on there. What the? It looks like a moon. Is there a moon? Is that a moon? Or a hazy day and you can see the sun? Hmm. Looks like the moon. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, very tricky. Okay, spirit. All right, so there's, there, it's a sign, right? How you're going to know. What's What sign do you need to look out for when you know it's coming? This happily ever after. And this is... With the Ten of Cups, this is family contentment, total love and support. This is joyousness. This is happy, happiness. This is me, being one and one on one with your person, with someone. You know, your your person or a person is when you go outside during the day and you could see the sun and the moon outside on the same at the same time, right? And I know that's not an uncommon thing, but when you, if you're out and about. And you look up and you can see the moon is out and the sun is out too. That That's your confirmation. That's your confirmation. And if you've recently just seen that, that's your confirmation. Okay? That, that positive energy. Good things are coming for you. It's like a little universal blessing. A universal sign. 
everything's going to be well. This is happiness and joy. Everybody's family's going to be good. Lots of love and support around you. Everything's going to be good. Positive energy. If you have anything going on at your family or people that you're close to and there's concerns or worries, uh, the message is everything is going to be okay, right? And look, look, just keep your eyes out for that sun and moon duality up in the sky. I mean, you're obviously not going to see it at night. It has to be daytime <laughs> when the sun's out, okay? Yep, everything's going to be fine, especially with your siblings. I feel like the sibling situation is going to work itself out. There's definitely going to be... Um, a reunion, a lot of support. You have a lot of reunion energy happening. There's going to be good communication. If you have issues or things going on right now with your with your siblings, one, two, three, seven, however many you have, um, or some friends, um, I feel like that that's all going to get straightened out. It's it's just going to work out that whole thing. I know these messages are coming across random. Uh, they're meant to. So if you're listening to this reading, and you leave me a comment where this reading makes no sense. It's not one long storyline. It is a bunch of different messages in one. Okay. So the only reason it wouldn't make sense is because of your expectation. You never have expectations going into readings, right? So definitely coming to the end of some kind of struggle. Some kind of struggle that had a lot to do with in your anxiety. Dealing with some anxiety issues. You've been carrying around your anxiety, your stress, way too long. It's taking its physical toll on you. So it's about looking at your triggers. Your stress, your mental stress is going to affect your physical body. Some of you might have high cortisol levels. You might be eating a lot to cope with stress, so you're going to gain weight. Uh, you might be taking certain medications that are they're affecting your, your organs or certain areas of your body. Um, you know, struggle with sleep, so you're tired during the day, a lot of fatigue, you're feeling exhausted, uh, anxiety at night. I feel like uh, you're, you're definitely going to do some research or figure out what's going on with your anxiety levels and your stress. Your grief or any kind of depression. Um, actually take a look at that I'm hearing really look into it maybe you need to change your physicians physician or uh, let go of something that's whatever it is it's it's taking you're gonna start noticing some people don't even notice because they do something for a really long time especially if they're dealing with stress prolonged stress they don't often notice how it's affecting their body because it takes so long okay now acute stress will have acute physical reactions of course heart racing real quick stuff like that and this doesn't feel acute it feels like it's something that's been building up um you become aware of that i feel like in the next 30 days and here's a wheel of fortune and you definitely make a change you're going to get lucky with whatever information you find that's going to help you relieve this it's not the physical self that needs the help it's the mental but it could be reversed. Some of you could just be so exhausted with the Ten of Wands where you're just taking on too many burdens and it's causing this mental stress, right? Cause and effect. I don't know which one is coming first. It could be the mental, having the physical, or having the physical, which is causing the mental. Whichever one, the Wheel of Fortune is here. It's a good thing that that's here because that's changed. Everything is going to start moving forward in your favor. Things are going to work out. Look at all these little books here. This is an energy of like reading things, reading up, studying, trying to understand what you're missing, what's going on with you. You get very lucky with that or you get some information. Turning point. You, you turn the corner. Right? You're... you're you're at the nine of swords you're not at the ten so you haven't had like a complete collapse yet you, you kind of get right in right on time the wheel of fortune is a timing thing looks like a clock right the wheel like it's turning it's time now like deal with whatever's going on here so that things can start shifting for the better for you all right so you got a king of cups showing up here water sign energy <clears throat> King Cups could be your energy. Um, 
But the King of Cups is um, looking at finances, looking at money, leaving an uh, uh, inheritance. Uh, could be connected to your family or your business or your work. There's some truth coming out, some clarity coming out um, in regards to this King of Cups. Some kind of judgment of some sort. There's a wake-up call. This King of Cups has a wake-up call um, connected to you in some way. To your reading. They show up. Let's see. All right. You also have a King of Wands connected to you. Um, fire energy. King of Wands looks like they're... Uh, so they're waiting for you to make a decision, but they're watching and, and watch curious if you're going to make some kind of decision. Are you going to stay? Or are you going to go? Are you going to go left? Or are you going to go right? And the King of Wands is trying to make a decision themselves here. They're doing a little bit of research, trying to get some information. I don't know if it's in regards to you. Like, they're not searching you. They could be. <clears throat> but there's a decision on the table for this King of Wands. I'm hearing, should I stay or should I go? So it could have something to do with travel. Definitely travel plans. There's something to do with travel plans with this King of Wands in connection to you. Coming to see you or going somewhere together or going off on their own. Okay, last. All right. So there's definitely, yeah, I do feel like you're going to be you're making a big change here. You're being very assertive as far as your um, a sense of if you feel imprisoned, if, you, if you're feeling isolated, if you're feeling restricted. Yeah, I feel like with this Knight of Swords, like things are going to change very swiftly. You're going to be coming out of that, definitely. Uh, for some of you, if you were having some kind of like mental stress or anxiety, it has a lot to do with this Eight of Swords. It completely if it's starting with the bed tool and affecting you physical it's what's underneath your subconscious your subconscious the undercurrent that's running your life somewhere is saying to you you can't do something you must stay isolated don't go out don't go you're the self-sabotage and imprisonment self-imprisonment that is what's causing your stress okay because this is an energy of someone who kind of sits in a victim mode and has mental struggle with standing up for themselves or being direct, right? If that sounds like you, if you feel like deep down, you're just like, yo, don't be calling me out. If you, because everybody's got something, right? It's okay. If you feel like that's what's going on with you, you're feeling that way, um, take a look at that. That's the undercurrent. That's the subconscious. There's something within you or maybe someone in your family or in your childhood, told you you couldn't do anything or you can't do something you must stay close to home um they taught you how to restrict yourself they isolated you kept you in some kind of a imprisonment mental imprisonment so those if if you haven't changed, reframed things in your life uh you're starting to do that here which is great take a look at those you got to go back to your childhood you got to go back to your attachment styles you got to go back to you know you and your mom you and your dad what was your you know maybe you'll do some of that i don't know that's where it all begins it's all i really do believe in the attachment styles i really do there's four attachment styles they're secure dismissive avoidant uh an anxious preoccupied and what's the other one <laughs> i can't remember them I, my recall is like slipping i swear um fearful avoidant so secure 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 attachment is the only one that's secure the other three are all insecure attachment styles so it might be something for you to look up or take a look and start making changes about that right but that, that's not your fault and it's not your parents fault if they were like that because they were taught it, it's just somebody's got to break the chain here break the cycle break the chain and it looks like either you're going to do it or start doing it so you'll be happier all right. I said I wasn't going to get into these really deep psychological reads, but you know what? Something came out here. All right. So you have time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity, which is good. Integrity. Does the situation align with your values and morals? Really important message. 
There's also an awakening, somebody undergoing a spiritual transformation. Financial challenges are affecting a connection in your life. There is someone feeling remorse for the way they treated you. Someone has regret. Uh, there's also chemistry. There might be attraction to someone. It's mutual that shows up here in this time period as well. Maybe right now you do have a past love, past life love. Your soul remembers some connection from your past was very intense. The most intense it's ever been. Um, there's also, <laughs> there's a lot of different messages. You and another person don't share the same vision. You're on different pages. Okay, and you're being asked to try something you've never done before as well, Virgo. Right? Where's your passion? Go after things you've never done. Don't do something different this time. Like George Costanza, when he had opposite day. Instead of getting the tuna salad, get the chicken salad. Instead of having it on a roll, have it on toast. <laughs> Make those little changes, right? That's like that's the funniest episode. I love that that show, but to me, I'm just like, yes. <laughs> just yes if you want different results you have to do different things insanity is repeating the same thing over and over expecting the different result no if you want things to be different you have to be different you have to do different things you have to do something different and it's the opposite of what you're doing and that just once you figure out what that is then you got to put that into practice and keep it going right all right there is a fire sign it's going to be significant in uh the next 30 days August 14th through September 14th. Aries Leo Sag very, will be very significant. Okay, you also have a cycle. Fate, karma, something ending, something beginning, right? Don't let the same cycle keep repeating, I'm hearing. All right, some of you are moving, changing your residence or moving in with someone, partner, family member, or just moving. All right, you also have caution. Find out more information in regards to a certain situation. Person, place, or thing. Don't overwork yourself. Don't go down a rabbit hole. Be cautious. And you also have open up your heart. We'll help you attract more love. Beautiful. All right, this is kind of a quickie. I have a party that I'm getting ready to go to. So I got to get going. We have Pisces. And you have... Libra showing up here. We have a K and we have an O. Knockout. All right, 67, 44, 82, tw August 26, 22nd, 63, 39, 75. Okay, Victoria or Vic. Someone's getting a vaccination or getting a vax, getting vaxxed. I can't believe we were allowed to say that now. Month of February, very significant. Triple A. Got to make sure you got triple A. Um, oops. We have the letter F. We have an I. V, X, A. Vixen. Someone's a vixen. Okay. We have Virgo. We have Leo. Oh, somebody might be on the cusp of Virgo Leo. We also have Cancer. All right, let me get a charm and see what your charm is. Oh, you have the hand of protection, Virgo. You are divinely protected, the Hamsa. So you might have that somewhere sitting around, maybe a sticker or you have a tattoo of it or you just see that. Some of you are going on a balloon ride before the summer's over. Going on a balloon ride. Somebody has a... Just hearing a swan, an inflatable swan in their pool. Right? Somebody's got an inflatable swan in their pool. I know it's a regular swan, but I'm, I'm, they showed me a pool. Inflatable swan. Riding on, riding on a swan. Okay. And you also have... Oh, oh, that's weird. Uh, somebody here, you're like you're, you need to. I don't know who. I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Um, some of you need to get your the glass of your or like your headlight headlamps cleaned or replace your headlamps. I'm just hearing <laughs> on your vehicle. I just saw. You know how like your headlamps could get yellow. You either need to. I don't know why. Who cares, right? I don't know. Some maybe somebody cares. 
because your lights aren't very bright perhaps or you just don't like the way it looks or something's yellowed so you can go and have them cleaned or you just get one of those um, magic erasers and that just takes all that oxidation off and you also have believe okay so um this has to do with your faith right all you have to do is believe once you believe then everything works out right you just have to believe so what are you believing uh, there's some kind of question here in regards to your faith there's something to do with your belief system and your faith um it doesn't have to be a religious faith it's just do you believe in yourself hey listen virgo don't stop believing Don't stop believing. Maybe you're going to listen to that song. Don't stop believing. Hold on to the feeling. Okay, anyway, I'm going to leave that there. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll be back tomorrow with your weekend reading. Have a great evening. Love you guys. Bye.